In this video, I will show you how to create 3D side scroller template. So first we will need to create our project. I'm using Unreal Engine 5.3 and then we want to go into the game section and we will be using the third person template. So just select that. Then you want to fill in the name of your project and make sure that the starter content is checked. Then hit create and you just have to wait until your project is created. And here we have the standard third person project open. Now to convert this into a 3D side scroller, we need to do three things. First we need to change the camera, then we need to change the inputs and the movement and last but not least we will need to learn how to construct simple levels for the side scrolls since they are constructed differently. So let's get started with the camera. So you need to go into the third person folder, blueprints and then open the BP third person character. Then we are gonna go into the viewport and here we have the camera which is the standard third person camera and we need to move. So I'm gonna select the camera boom which is this line that basically is like a selfie stick almost. If we try to rotate it to the side it's not gonna move and the reason for that is because if we go into the camera settings below here, we have the use pawn control rotation. This basically means it's getting controlled by where you are moving your character and your mouse. So we can just uncheck all of these, so the use pawn control rotation and then inherit pitch your and roll. Then we can just hit compile and now we can rotate the boom. I'm gonna rotate it by 90 degrees so it's on the right side of the character. Then I want to zoom out the camera because inside scrollers the camera is rather far away and the target arm length is gonna allow us to do exactly that. And I'm gonna set this to 1000 and obviously you can change this to whatever is gonna fit your character and your game because sometimes you want it more zoomed in sometimes you so now we need to change the movement because if we hit play just use WASD like usual as you can see the movement is kind of weird and the reason for this is because we need to change the inputs to fit side scroller so to change how the input works is actually real simple you just need to go into the content drawer go into the third person folder then go into inputs and then IMC default in here we have the inputs and this is gonna be only if you are using Unreal Engine 5.1 and above because that one is using this new input system. You can leave jump on spacebar but you can also change it or add to it as a W which is also common in side scrollers that you can jump with a W. And then here we have these different movement inputs but we don't need all of these. Basically the ones that we just need are uh, W and S and then we can delete A and D and then under these we have up, down, right and left and we can delete right and left because we just want to move back back and forth basically left to right. Now WS is kind of a weird keybind so we are gonna change it. So instead of W I'm gonna click on this, search for D, then scroll down on the keyboard, change it to D, then click on S, change it to A, and then under here we are gonna basically do the same thing, where instead of up I'm gonna search for a right, and then instead of down I'm gonna search for a left. And that's all we need to do, so we can just save this asset. Okay, so now we can just move left and right with AD, W and S doesn't do anything, and the same thing goes for the arrows. Now you might notice on the top left corner I have some numbers, and this is current position on the Y axis, and the reason why I did that is to show you that there is a bit of a problem, because if we move our mouse, we can still run around like this, and it's not gonna really work, because it's gonna put us out of line. So to fix that, we are gonna simply go into our player blueprint, and we are gonna go into the event graph. In here I have this event tick that you don't need to do, this is just the printing string to figure out if we are moving from the y-axis. And in here we have the camera input and we have the action loop. And what this does is it allows us to move our camera and I'm just gonna disconnect it but you can also delete this whole thing because you don't really need it since this is just to move your camera around and you don't really want to do it in the base template of a side scroll. Then another thing for the movements that we can do is we can select the character movement under components and search for play. And in here we have constraints to play. This will allow us, if we take it to true, to constrain our movement so that we can't move around on one axis. So if we select Y axis for me, that means that I'm not gonna be able to go in depth basically. If I select my player star, I'm only gonna be able to move left and right on the X axis, but I won't be able to move on the Y axis. And that's exactly what I want, because I don't want to go in depth, I want to just go left, right and up. So we are gonna constrain ourselves on the Y axis, that way we can't move move even if you wanted to. And then another thing we can do here, just to make it feel more like a side scroller and our platformer, if we scroll down in the character movement, we have the jumping falling section. And we have jump Z velocity. If we go into play like this, you're gonna notice that the jumping in the third person is just quite basic. It's it's really short and it doesn't really fit with the side scroller. So instead of jump Z velocity, which is 700 by default, I'm gonna change it to about 1000, but you can obviously play around with it and fix it 
it from whatever you want. And just to showcase how much of a difference it is, I'm gonna change it back to 700. And I have this code here that's just gonna change it at the runtime to 1000. I'm gonna keybind this to Q, compile and go into play. And when I jump like this, you're gonna see it's the basic third person jump. And I press Q and now it feels much more like a side scroller. Another thing that we can do here to make it feel more like a side scroller is you're gonna notice we are turning around, well, around instead of just instantly swapping position. To make it feel more like a side scroll, but this is more of a 2D thing, we can make this turn instant. And for that, we are gonna select our character movement. And under the details, I'm gonna look for a rotation. And in here we have character movement, rotation settings, and we have rotation rate. And as you can see on the Z axis, we have the 500. If you change this number to negative, then it's gonna be instant. So I'm gonna change this to minus 500. Then I'm gonna just compile and go into play. And now, as you can see, we just instantly turn around. This is again just one of those little things that you can do in order to make your game feel more like a side scroll, but it's obviously completely optional. So, how do we create side scroll levels? We can just go into the file on top left corner here, go into the new level. Then I'm gonna select the basic level, or you can also select the empty levels if you don't want anything there. And then in here is something you're gonna notice, is that when you have the player start, this is where your character is gonna spawn, and it has this blue arrow here. This basically determines which way the character is gonna face when it spawns. And this is important to note, here it's gonna face this way, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align everything to be on this side. So I'm gonna select this floor here. And I'm gonna press scale and then I'm gonna scale it down to maybe something along the lines of this. So now when I hit play, as you can see, it looks much more like a side scroller. We can also adjust the height and so on. And now you have a basic side scroller. Once you start playing around with it, you can create simple levels such as these. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, it helps out a lot. But also let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos and tutorials on 3D side scrollers. I think there's a lot of things we could cover with this. But as always, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!